Okay, guys, so we're back on this Gorilla Glue tip. We got an idiot out of Louisiana who decided to put it on his lip. He thought it was a challenge. This man is 36 years old. He looks 60. Okay. Okay, so we got Martin. Um, he's from Louisiana. He's a native. He's telling anybody if they want to try it, don't do it. You shouldn't have done it. Um, so in an exclusive interview, Martin said that he did the challenge to prove that the viral video seen with Tessica Brown, who sprayed Gorilla Glue adhesive in her hair, was not as serious as she made it. Okay, so I, this is not a challenge, and I, I stated that in my first video, guys. So Martin himself was seen on the Dr. Oz show back in 2020, um, discussing his experience in engaging in the ice cream challenge and the consequences he faced. But he says he does not want to send out a bad message by doing these challenges. So everyone on social media, um, everybody is on social media every day, and there's a new challenge. But I didn't think it would go this far, Martin quoted. So Lynn Martin, that's his name, says he created the challenge after he already went viral, um, um, after the already viral video of Tessica Brown um, of Louisiana. So in a Facebook video, Martin says he believes that he could glue the red solo cup to his lip and lick it off. He put this stuff in his mouth. Guys, he put it in his mouth. We already went over, watch my first videos that I did on this, and it states what it's for, but he put it in his mouth. So it's in your mucus, in your, oh gosh. So anyway, that video, that information uh, incident can be seen below. Um, I am going to post that on here. Um, and he also did an interview with the news lady. Um, you guys just post your comments. I'm not even going to say anything. This is just ridiculous. And I wish people would stop getting on social media seeking attention. They said that he's a rapper and he's trying to go viral. He wants a rap career. So I don't know how true that is. And Lynn Martin could end up losing part of his bottom lip. They will have to de decapitate um, to get the, you know, because it's stuck there to the cup and they have to cut it loose. Um, this is sad. This is horrible. I do not feel sorry for this young man. He knew that this was not a challenge in no way, shape, form or fashion is this should be considered a challenge. And guys, once again, like I stated before, I said that on my video, he went to the ER and you know, the doctors are dumbfounded. They don't know how to remove it from the hair. How do you think there, it says do not have contact with the skin and this man decides to put it on on his lip and lip uh his lip and the gorilla glue to a solo cup a solo drinking cup okay so and gorilla glue says again our spray adhesive states in the warning label do not swallow do not get in your eyes or on your skin or on clothing it is used for craft home auto or office projects to mounting things to surfaces such as paper cardboard wood laminate and fabric it is not for the human body it does not say that on there, okay? So, I don't know if he's trying to do this to get his rap career going and go viral. You're an idiot, Lynn Martin. You're an absolute idiot. And just like I said, leave the Gorilla Glue alone. Then we got a man trying this. Oh, my goodness, a man. Anyway, guys, we're going to get into the video. I just have to come back real quick with this video. This Gorilla Glue stuff is getting out of hand. It's really getting out of hand. This is not a challenge. Please do not try this. Men, women, children, dogs, cats. How much more can I express this? I said it in my first video. All right, guys, let's get into the video. And please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more um to help support my channel so I can keep making videos. If you guys don't subscribe or like or comment, then I won't be able to post more videos, okay? So, thanks again for watching. Hit that notification bell so when I make new videos, you guys will be aware. Until the next video, stay Gorilla Glue safe, guys. Bye!
it really wasn't a challenge. I actually started it. Um, I, I kind of saw, I really didn't think, um, I, did you see what the young lady tried with the really good with her hair? Uh-huh. And I was like, okay. And I thought, you know, I thought she was just playing around because I didn't think it was that serious that Gorilla Glue would actually do all of that, you know? I actually tried it a couple of times before. It never really worked for me for anything, like doing it actually on thing. And that's what kind of, I was like, okay, well, she's blind and, you know, all these challenges going on. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and try it, you know? All right. And it, it went backwards, you know? I got you. So walk me through the steps of what you did. Tell me what you do in the uh, video with the cup and the glue. But basically what I was doing was I was trying to show people that it wasn't as serious as she was making it to be, you know? So basically what I did was I, I, I trimmed the cup with, with some Gorilla Glue and placed it in my mouth for a few seconds, for, for a few minutes, and which I thought that I could lick it off, kind of, you know, to moisten it and pull it right off, but that didn't work. So talk about the experience when you went to the hospital. How long were you there and what treatment uh, did you receive there? Uh, I was there for maybe about a, a little over an hour, two hours or so. Um, basically, I had my pressure was up. I mean, I was going through a lot of distress also. And um, they did like a peeling, uh, basically a moistening peeling, you know, to get it off of that. From my upper skin on my lip, you know. So basically, all that has been torn off, you know. And what is the recovery process? Um, basically, keep it covered up. Uh, you don't want, you know, with all these things floating around and stuff like that, you don't want to get it infected. And you don't want anything like that to happen, you know. Uh, keep it covered up with all these viruses going on and stuff like that. And, and you know, I, I keep, and I have medication, I rub on it to keep it, you know. And hopefully it, it just heals up. It doesn't get infected or anything like that. Did they give you, like, a time frame for how long you have to keep it moisturized, keep it covered up? Uh, yeah, uh, two to three weeks, and once it starts to dry, I'm going to take it off and let, let some air breathe, you know, let it catch air, though. Know? But right now, I really need to keep it covered, you know? All right. So when we researched your name, we saw that you're on Dr. Oz in regards of the ice cream challenge, and then from looking on your Facebook page, we do see that you're a rapper, and many insinuate that you're doing these challenges to seek attention to boost a rap career or even just to go viral. So what are your thoughts on that? Well, I would never want to stick no Gorilla Glue to my lip and have it stuck there and have to go through all the situations I went through. Basically, I was trying to, of course, everybody knows social media runs things right now. Everybody's on social media. Uh, it gets a lot of attention and that's what's going on. I mean, we, we do. Uh, there's a lot of different challenges. So I wouldn't say that I'm doing it to boost my career because people start a new challenge every day, you know? They start the mom challenge, the brother challenge. So what, if that's the case, why are those people doing it, you know? I mean, actually, it's just a part of social media, but I didn't think it was going to go this far, you know? But if it helps, it helps. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But that's not that's not what I did it for. I don't want to be sitting up here like this. I mean, you got Valentine's Day coming up. I can't even kiss my leg, you know? That ain't, that ain't, that's not what I'm trying to do. So what is your message to people watching this right now who are seeing these challenges? What is your overall message to them? Well, see, the thing is, I don't want to send out a bad message. The same thing with the ice cream situation, which was completely blown out of proportion, but I don't want nobody to try it, especially these kids, you know? They, they look at stuff on the internet and they be like, okay, they're trying. Now, if somebody can't go and do this, and this could be worse, you know? Somebody could die, anything could happen. So this is definitely one not to try Let's just stop this now. It's over with for that. Let's act like it never started, you know? It's, 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 it's very harmful, and it can harm a lot of people, you know? All right. Well, that's all the questions I have. I wish you a speedy recovery, and thank you for your time.